So I was never really interested in solar eclipses until I watched Smarter Every Day's video about solar eclipses. After watching that video, I was befuddled. I knew I had to go to one. So I started looking into when the next solar eclipse was, and it just happened to be next week within an hour's drive of my house. And not even just that, this might be the only opportunity for me to go see one for the next 20 years in Canada. So I knew I had to learn more. I watched video after Here's video. Here's what I would do. You need to protect your eyes. You can melt your sensor. You need special filters. But then it struck me. Do I even have a lens for this? I searched and searched. This one. Oh, God dang it. You see, unlike Smarter Every Day, I'm just a small time YouTuber. No one wants to send me a five to $30,000 lens just to take one photo of the sun. So until that changes, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. So I searched for the cheapest telephoto lens I could find on Amazon that was shipped to my house Ooh. within the week. Rav Sunday, April 7th? That's over the day before the eclipse. And then I discovered this lens, an 800 millimeter lens for $110. It came with a $30 coupon code, so it was actually $80. And to boot that all off, it was the only lens I could find on Amazon that would actually arrive at my house on time. So I ordered it, and now I'm just waiting until it gets here. So what possibly could go wrong? All right, it's here. Let's check out what this bad boy actually looks like. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a tiny box. Out of all my years of opening lens boxes, this is like the weirdest lens box I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, we got T-mount adapter. It's like a leather skirt for <laughs> your lens. Okay, here it is. Voila. It's kind of plasticky, but it's also kind of metally. Not as cheap feeling as I thought it was gonna be. Oh! <laughs> so it zooms by just pushing it in and out. This thing's definitely a grower, not a shower. <laughs> That's absolutely absurd. There's a little lock lever here so that you can, I guess, lock it at to whatever range you want to leave it at. It's like a workout to like really focus this lens. Like, oh my gosh, that's just... <laughs> this lens is held together by one little locking ring. I literally just dismantled it. <laughs> well, I don't really think there's much more to say about this lens because it's really not that outstanding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly confident that this is actually gonna work. I think it is only one, one piece of glass in here. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna be packing up for tomorrow. Last minute, trying to figure out where I was gonna go tomorrow to go see the eclipse. I'm meeting up with some of my coworkers down there, so I'm trying to find a spot that can accommodate all of us. Crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. So I just finished up packing. I still have a few loose things like batteries that I'm gonna leave charging overnight. But other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked to see how this actually is. And hopefully we don't have too much clouds tomorrow. The radar is not looking pretty pleasant. So I think it's about like 60% coverage right now. We could get a pretty bad spot if we're not lucky. We're just gonna try to stay flexible, but I think I'm just gonna wake up early, drive down there and hopefully maybe find a spot along the beach set up there and just hope for the best. Well, we'll find out. Kong signing off. So we woke up early that morning. Kira was in the kitchen packing snacks and I was just getting all my gear ready. We packed the cooler and the car and got on our way. Let's load up. Everything was looking great and it was looking like it was gonna be smooth sailing from here. Oh, I forgot a belt. Good thing he's cute. And for the most part, there was no clouds in sight. We're good. <laughs> so we're hitting the road finally. We're gonna pull off, grab some coffee, and then we got about an hour's drive to Luis Lookout. Looking pretty cloud-free right now, so I think my worries yesterday about all that cloud coverage is uh, fake news. So woo -hoo, hopefully, woo -hoo. hopefully when we get down there, it's still okay. That's right. I drive five kilometers faster when I wear these things. <laughs> so we pulled up to Lewis Lookout and everything was looking awesome. Welcome to beautiful Lake Erie. 
This is, you know, just another Great Lake. <laughs> I've been living on a Great Lake all my life. I just feel a lake is a lake to me. Okay, so we are finally here. I'm gonna start unpacking and moving things around. Just gonna dial in a few settings, trying to figure it out. I haven't really tested out this lens yet, so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm glad I did my research before I came and took these photos. And for anyone that's worried, don't worry, I do have a solar filter in front of the lens. I'm just trying to nail focus now and figure out this intervalometer so I don't add too much handshake with my hands. I'm having troubles trying to focus the lens. <laughs> Hopefully when the time comes, I have it figured out by then. Other than that, I think we're gonna nail it. It's just super cool to see what everyone else brought with them to photograph this. And I'm using this bag. <laughs> so it would melt the sensor while I was pointing at the sun. I think Gary was getting embarrassed that I was taking up too much space. It was time to do what I do best. Just get extremely friendly and talk to everyone. So this is my setup neighbor. He's awesome. MVP. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. Let's try this out. Mm. Look at this dude hitting on my girlfriend. I'm totally just playing. That's Sean. He gave me a burger. It was uh, very well needed because I did not eat anything today and just had been drinking coffee. So, great guy. He's here now. I want extra cheese. And because I'm a great boss, we gave everyone the day off if they wanted to come with me to see the eclipse. What'd you do, Josh? <laughs> right, man. It's right. Don't look at it with your bare eyes. I'm just kidding. Look at it with your bare eyes. Be a man. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> Give me just so I can feed into your plot. What's like the what's like the game plan of this video? Like just so I can have the drop. All right, so it's starting. I am a little late. <laughs> Gonna get quickly set up and then uh, we'll start shooting. So the clouds are coming through and uh, I'm not too too confident about this. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty, it's getting pretty gray over there. I'm still hopeful that we're gonna have an opportunity. Just starting right now. I think we got about an hour before it finally reaches totality, but I'm gonna dial all the settings in right now and hopefully get it right. Is it working? It's the sun, that's a sunspot. That's the edge of the sun. So I'm using the solar eclipse timer app. It's telling me in about 45 minutes, that's when we'll get second contact. I see a couple little breaks over here, so maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know yet, but I don't know. Hoping for the best, we'll see. 10 minutes away from the eclipse. It's getting pretty cold out here. <laughs> it's so cold that I had to give my jacket to Josh. <laughs> Josh is known for uh, thinking that he can strongman every weather condition until it gets cold. <laughs> He's been defeated by the eclipse. Nine minutes on the dot. Oh my gosh, I can see my breath. Oh, you actually can. Look at this sunset. Okay, we're almost ready to shoot Haley's beads. We might be able to get it. I'm not entirely sure. 90 seconds. Yeah, that's crazy. 30 seconds. Prepare to remove solar filters. Holy smokes, it's like pitch black. Oh my God. Three, two. Holy. <laughs> this is like the one of the coolest things ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jake of the Corona. Yeah, we're getting, getting it, getting it. Look at the oh. little red spot. Oh no. Oh. And it's coming back. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Oh, it's like immediately bright, too bright. <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever. That was unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> that looks epic. Bro, this lens is just. Goated. It captured that so that's like literally what my eyes saw. So I think the photos actually turned out from the back of the camera, they look sick, but I don't know about right now. <laughs> I got to meet so many friendly people. One of the best parts of the day was just everyone coming over and asking what I was doing and just talking to everyone. It really felt like a community here. I just want to say this was an awesome experience and I'm so thankful for everyone I got to meet and talk to. I know the next solar eclipse is not for a long time, but if you're on the fence of going to a solar eclipse that's just a few hours away, I can almost promise you that it's going to be worth it. So just do a little bit of research, make sure the cloud covers isn't too bad, and I would hands down recommend going. Lake Erie, thanks for having us. We made friends of all the locals. Yeah, they told us to go to a brewery, so we might go check that out. Welcome to the beer roll. Ha 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 ha.
Truthfully, after setting up the lens, I was quite impressed of how well it performed. Now, would I recommend this lens to anyone? Well, to be honest, it was a quite a challenging lens to use. As a few too many quirks where I wouldn't recommend using this as a wildlife lens or anything like that, but for this one-time use of the solar eclipse, this is an awesome lens. Totally recommend it for this use case. <laughs> Just make sure you have a lot of time to nail your focus. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.